Okay, y'all, I want to talk to you about a really serious subject. Okay? Hypocrites. You know, Jesus said, the hypocrite shall receive greater damnation. Okay? Now, I want to talk to you about why are there so many hypocrites. There's a, there, there, there is a reason. Okay? And if you, if you watch a lot of the videos, actually most of the videos on, on, on my YouTube channel, which I use to try to minister to people and get them to walk the straight and narrow path and recognize all the deception out there, uh, you already know why there's so many hypocrites. But I'm going to be more specific in this video, to, to, especially to those of you that uh, may be curious and you've, ne you've never watched my videos of why there are so many hypocrites. First of all, I pray you, you aren't a hypocrite. And I also pray that you examine yourself and ask yourself the honest question, are you a hypocrite? Uh, so that you don't deceive yourself. Okay. Uh, I used to be a hypocrite as a, as, a, as a little boy, really, and as a very young man. But I didn't know any different. Even though I heard that still small voice, which, which was God, tell me this, this is too good to be true. Okay. Referring to, I'll oh, just pray this prayer, man. Uh, you know, just believe in Jesus. Ask him to come into your heart, forgive you for your sins. And, uh, and you're saved. You, you, you're a Christian. Jesus is in your heart. I, I memorized John 3.16 in the Baptist church probably when I was four or five years old. They, they, you know, Satan is, is, is a deceiver. He deceived Eve in the garden. Okay. He's been, he's, he, he, he is a master deceiver. He knows his destination is the lake of fire, the bottomless pit. Okay. And he wants to deceive as many people as he possibly can. Okay. And, 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 uh, he has deceived many. And the reason he has deceived many is, People do not want to take the time to study the Word of God, the Scriptures for themselves. Okay, and I, I I hope you do take the time, or after you watch this video, you will take the time. Okay, but the reason there are, you, first of all, there is this is a reality. Okay, to say that most people that claim to be Christians are not hypocrites is delusional. I ask people all the time, I'm, I'm, I'm 63, going on 64 this year, got truly born again, okay, uh, uh, as a 17-year-old young man in 1977, was told I was saved and on my way to heaven, got Jesus uh, well before that, okay, but I, did, I really didn't have Jesus, okay, I didn't know I had Jesus and I didn't have Jesus because I was deceived, so I was a hypocrite. At one time, I was a hypocrite. It was sex, drugs, and rock and roll for me and a lot of people that I knew. And we were all told we were saved. We we're Christians. Jesus is in our heart because we accepted Jesus as our Lord and Savior. And we were told it's only by faith. And, uh, and, and, and so we were deceived. Okay? So, and, and that's the reason why there's so many hypocrites. Okay? People have been deceived by false preachers, okay, churches, slash, even Christians have, have, have been deceived and deceived others and them sharing their faith, okay, so I want to talk about this deception, okay, uh, uh, I, this is not about me, this is not my opinion, this is God's holy word, the same word, the same scriptures that these false preachers unrightly divide okay all right so uh i want to let's look at first corinthians okay uh chapter six we're going to talk about the word deceived okay and, and, and which is why there's so many hypocrites all right 
So 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 9. Okay. Know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of God? That's a question. Then it says, be not deceived. Okay. Now I'm here to tell you, I was once deceived. As a young man by the false preachers from a Baptist church to an assembly of God preacher. Okay. All right. Uh, uh, did I had Jesus because I prayed Romans 10, 9 and 10, they say. Romans 10, 9 and 10 says, Conf uh, confess with your mouth, believe in thy heart, the Lord raised from the dead. Uh, believe in, and, and you shall be saved. But you can't unrightly divide the scriptures like that, ladies and gentlemen. John 3, 16, For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, who whosoever believeth in Him should not perish, but have everlasting life. Well, that means they may or may not. Uh, and then the Scripture goes on and says, He that believeth not is already condemned. So if, if, if a person don't believe, they're already condemned. If they do believe, they're not yet condemned. Okay, If they will take that belief and obey Jesus, obey that Jesus they believe in, so, 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 uh, 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 I ask people all the time, how many people do you know that say they're Christians live holy, live like Christ? I would say I've never had one say most of them. Okay. Overwhelming majority in the high 90% would say none. And they would, they would actually laugh. I've, I've, I've had them just, kind of laugh like you know like you got a point okay and uh, 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 uh and that's because there's so much deception okay uh so 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 anyway uh first corinthians chapter 6 verse 9 know you not that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of god paul's asking the question don't you know that okay paul's talking to believers here now i want y'all to understand this okay then he goes on and says, Be not deceived, neither fornicators, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor the effeminate. Got a lot of the effeminate going on today. Satan's pushing that agenda. He's already pushed the homosexual agenda. That's pretty much cool now and uh, accepted, not, you know, looked at as so weird. And, 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 you know, they've all come out of the closet and proud now. They're proud. Okay. We have Gay Pride Month in America now, okay, uh, and now 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 the transgender stuff, okay, the effeminate. But it says neither fornicators nor idolaters nor adulterers nor the effeminate nor abusers of themselves as mankind. That's homosexuality. Nor thieves, nor the covetous, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor extortioners shall inherit the kingdom of God. Then look at verse eleven. Paul says, "And such were some of you." Now, this is a true Christian. Okay? This ain't a hypocrite he's talking about now. Okay? He's, he says, such were some of you, but you are washed, but you are sanctified, and you are justified in the name of the Lord by the, by the Spirit of our God. Okay? Okay, so these people turn from their sin. Okay? All right. So we're going to go on and read some more scripture in Galatians chapter 5. For the word of God is quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, the scripture says, piercing even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit and the joints and marrow, and is a discerner and uh, of the thoughts and intents of the heart. That's, that's, that's what we read in here, the word of God, the scriptures. Okay? Uh, 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 God's word says, my people perish for the lack of knowledge. Jesus said, you search the scriptures. For in them you think you have eternal life, and those are they that testify me. In other words, the ones that search the scriptures. We're told in the book of Timothy to study and show yourself approved unto God, a workman that needs not to be ashamed, rightly dividing the word of truth. Well, the reason we got so many hypocrites is because of the word, the scriptures, is unrightly divided okay, by the deceived and seducing preachers, the many many of them that are out there, overwhelming majority. Okay, so look. Let's look at Galatians chapter five. Uh, well, first I want to look at uh, chapter six. A couple of verses there. 
Uh, in chapter 6, verse 7, uh, Paul speaking to the church of Galatia now. We, were, we read he was speaking to the church of Corinth, telling them, Be not deceived. Uh, you do these things, you will not inherit the kingdom of God. Uh, now he says here in Galatians, Be not deceived. God is not mocked. Okay? For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. For, for he that soweth to his flesh, okay, mentions those sins of the flesh, like we mentioned in Corinthians chapter 6. He that soweth to the flesh, you sow by doing, obeying the flesh, okay, shall of the flesh reap corruption. But he that soweth to the spirit, shall of the spirit reap life everlasting, eternal life, okay, if, by obeying the spirit and not the flesh. And we're going to talk more about the flesh and, 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 and the spirit. Okay, So in Galatians 5, Paul says, well, we have liberty in Christ. Boy, I've heard them, 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 them fake Christians say, we got liberty in Christ. We don't have to. It's only by grace now. Okay, <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, what Paul's talking about, the liberty, is, 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 is we don't have to obey the Mosaic law. That, we don't have to obey the Mosaic law for salvation. Okay. All right. Paul says, For brethren, you have been called unto liberty. Only use not liberty for an occasion to the flesh. Okay. Talking about sins of the flesh now. He said, Don't use liberty as an occasion to, to commit the sins of the flesh. Okay. But, but by love serve one another. Okay. All right. So we go on and read. Verse 17, for the flesh, oh, first he says, verse 16, I say then, walk in the spirit and you shall not fulfill the lust of the flesh. For the flesh lusts against the spirit and the spirit against the flesh. And these are contrary to one another so that you cannot do the things that you would. <clears throat> so he's talking to people, you know, saying, well, if you go, if you live after the flesh, you don't, you don't do the things you should do. Because because you obey in the flesh and you're not obeying the spirit, okay. If you obey the spirit, in, in other words, these two are, are, are enemies against one another. They're the opposites, okay. But Paul says, but if you are be if you be led of the spirit, you are not under the law, okay. Now he goes on, verse nineteen. Now the works of the flesh are made manifest, which are these, okay. These are the sins. Under death that Paul mentioned in 1 Corinthians chapter 6 says those who do such things are not inherit the kingdom of God, but he adds a few more here. Okay. Adultery, fornication, uncleanness. Okay. Now I, I actually believe that oral sex, even in marriage, is uncleanness. Okay. I, 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 I believe that. Okay. Uh, I, I haven't always believed that. Okay. Uh, as far as the oral sex in marriage. Okay. But notice it says adultery, fornication, uncleanness, all all sexual sins, okay? Uh, lasciviousness, idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, variance, emulations, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, you know, like, boy, the revelers really came out tonight, man. They were drinking and carrying on and acting crazy. The revelers, I've heard, I've seen, you see it on the news when there's a big rock concert or some big festival, music festival, or or or, or, or some type, some, you know, a big sporting event. Boy, they out there reveling. Okay? Your Bible says revelers will not inherit the kingdom of God. Okay? Uh, uh, but it goes on. Idolatry, witchcraft, hatred, various emulations. Like jealousies, wrath, wrath, strife, seditions, heresies, envyings, murders, drunkenness, revelings, and and listen to this and such like of thee which I tell you before, as I have told you in times past, that they which do such things shall not inherit the kingdom of God. Okay, that's what it says. Talking to believers. But the false preachers, no man, it's only by faith. Uh, you should be obedient, but your righteousness is like filthy rags under God. Just un no, no, 
them. They're just unrightly twisting the scriptures. Okay, But I'm giving you the truth. I don't want you, when you stand before the Lord on that day, and say, depart from me, you workers of sin or iniquity. I never knew you. Okay. All right. So, uh, so let's go to Ephesians chapter 5. Okay. Notice Paul says, such were, were some of you. They, were, they used to do those things. Okay. Ephesians 5 speaks a whole lot about, uh, uh, I, want, I want to talk about uh, the old man and the new man. Okay. So uh, we're going to start with, uh, I want to go over here and uh, read some in, in chapter 4 first, verse 22. Paul says that you put off concerning the former conversation, the old man. Okay. It's like I used to curse before I truly surrendered to God, I cursed a little bit, man. You, you know, you cool, when when you're young like that. You know, I was I was a young boy before I got I got truly born again in 1977. So, you know, as a as a as a young man, you know, I'd curse a little bit. You know, that's you cool when you curse, right? Okay, put off, the, but I quit all that. Okay, I, I laid all that sin down uh, 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 in order to get the Holy Spirit in me. I truly repented. As the word says, repent and be converted that your sins may be blotted out and, and that you can receive the Holy Spirit. Acts 5.32 says he gives the Holy Spirit to them that obey him. Okay, I learned that you, 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 you don't get the Holy Spirit unless you surrender everything to God. Hook, line, and sinker. Turn from your sin. Stop willfully sinning. Okay, And all that scriptural, and I could get into that. But it's also common sense. Okay, God's not going to come live inside a, a, a temple, a house that wants to, wants to flirt with the world and 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 have a little sin. God's God, like Paul said, God is not mocked. Okay, so Paul says, uh, put off the, concerning the former conversation the old man which is corrupt according to the deceitful lust. Okay, he goes on and says, and be renewed in the spirit of your mind. In other words, get your mind renewed. How are you going to get your mind renewed? Get in God's word. Pray and meditate on God's word. Okay, that's, that's, that's the only way you can get your mind renewed from this wicked world we live in. Okay, And from all the false preaching. Okay, That's brainwashed many, many people. Okay, They've heard it growing up, the, 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 the deception. Okay, But fortunately, fortunately, I sought the truth. So I got into God's word on my own as a 17-year-old young man. Boy, did I find out there was a lot of things I wasn't told that I read in the Bible. Like in John 14, where Jesus said, If you love me, you will keep my commandments, and I will manifest myself to you. Uh, uh, et cetera, et cetera. Okay? So, but, but be renewed in the spirit of your mind, and that you put on the new man. This is a new man, a, a truly born-again man, a woman. Okay? Which after God is created, listen, in righteousness and true holiness. Okay? Wherefore, putting away lying, speak every man truth with his neighbor. Be ye angry and sin not. Let not the sun go down upon your wrath. Neither give place to the devil. Uh, let him that stole steal no more, but rather him labor working with his own hands. Okay? Uh, let no corrupt communication proceed out of your mouth. Man, I tell you, that F word's real popular to, to, today. Very rarely now, when I was a young man, did you hear the F word, but, but, but you heard it some, you know, and you go in the bathroom and s s some of the, the worst sinners would be a good way to put it, would, would put the F, F word all over on the, you know, magic marker on the stalls in the bathroom. Like I know even in the school I went to, okay, in a lot of different, you know, bathrooms, okay, but now, man, the F word's normal. You go, I, I, uh, I, I was reading the other day where there was at the Trump rally and they started shouting the F word Biden, F, F Biden. Okay. Just, I mean, it's just unreal where, how, how far we've came in, in the wickedness. Okay. So it goes on and says, uh, uh, let no corrupt communi communication proceed out of your mouth, but that which is good at use of edifying, grieve not the Holy Spirit of God. Let all bitterness and wrath and anger and clamor and evil speaking be put away from you with all malice. Be ye kind to one another, tender hearted, okay, forgiving one another, okay, 
That's a true Christian. Okay. Uh, uh, I can't help but think about uh, Vicky my, that I was married to for 41 and a half years, uh, uh, whom I still love and, and hope she'll find it in her heart to, uh, as the word says, be ye kind to one another and tender hearted. Well, I told my, uh, my wife, you wouldn't want me to leave you because, because, uh, 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 you're, you're sharing the word with your daughter and, 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 and she's living like a whore and fornicating and, 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 and drinking and, and, and smoking marijuana. And, and, uh, and, uh, I don't share the word with her, so she really loves me, but you preach the word to her in a loving way and she don't want to hear it. Okay. And uh, how would you like it if, if, uh, if, if, if I say I'm a, I'm, I'm leaving you cause, uh, I want calmness in my life because, because my daughter's giving me, my, my daughter is very upset about you, you sharing the word with her and, uh, and, uh, and, uh, and warning her she could go to hell, et cetera, et cetera. Okay. Uh, uh, it, it's, it's insane, ladies and gentlemen. It's truly insane. Okay. You leave, you leave your husband because you say, if I have to live alone the rest of my life, listen to the pronouns. If I have to live alone the rest of my life, to have calm in my life, then I'll live alone the rest of my life. And your marriage vows, you know, what about those? What about... You say you love God. You leave your husband. You go to church. You go to a harlot church that makes you feel comfortable in your sin. You walked away from a God-fearing husband, okay, that's warning his son, son, you need to quit fornicating, uh, having sex outside of marriage. You need to live holy so you don't die and go to hell, okay, uh, et cetera, et cetera, okay, <clears throat> which, 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 which I have four sons to tell them all the same thing, basically. As the Lord leads, okay, uh, but but uh, but 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 anyway, um, uh, so be kind one another, ten hearted, forgiving one another, etc. Cetera, etc. Cetera, okay, listen now. So so in Ephesians chapter five, Paul says, uh, uh, okay, uh, walk in love. This is verse two. Walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for for sweet smelling Savior. Listen now. But fornication and all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becometh saints. Okay. Let it not be once did you know if you took all the fornicators out of out of out of most of these churches, uh you, you There'd be a lot of, lot less people in the church. Okay, yeah, people having sex outside of marriage. Okay? I talk to them all the time, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, and I grew up, I grew up hearing this false gospel. Okay, as a young man, we, uh, I fornicated uh, before I got truly born again. Now, I, I fornicated uh, when I was told I was saved. I had Jesus because I prayed a prayer and accepted Jesus. Okay, I fornicated. And uh, qu- quite a few people I knew were fornicating, okay, in, in my class, okay, in, in my age, in, in my age group. Uh, so, uh, but but fornication, all uncleanness or covetousness, let it not be once named among you as becoming saints. Okay, neither filthiness nor foolish talking nor jesting goes on. It says verse five. For for this you know that no whoremonger, that's a fornicator. Somebody having sex outside of marriage, a whoremonger, okay, uh, nor unclean person or covetous man who is an idolater has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and of God. In other words, they they not go inherit the kingdom of the kingdom of Christ and of God. That's simple, simple as day. Paul's saying it here again to the to the church at, at Ephesus. Okay, he, listen to verse six. We're getting back to that word deceive. Remember, Paul said in Corinthians six. Uh, 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 be not deceived. Now he says here in Ephesians 5, 6, let no man deceive you with vain words. Okay. Uh, for because of these things cometh the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Okay. All right. That's God's word. 
He goes on and says, Be not ye therefore partakers with them. Your Bible actually says, if you and, and Paul says he speaks these things by the com- commandments of Christ. Christ gave him these commandments to speak. Okay. <clears throat> he says, uh, 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 Let no man deceive you uh, with vain words, because these things come in the wrath of God upon the children of disobedience. Be not you therefore partakers with them. Okay. Don't don't even associate with them. Don't partake with them. Okay. Listen, he goes on and says, For you were sometimes darkness. Okay. Sin and darkness. Uh, he's referring to sin as darkness. Okay. Uh, you, for you were sometimes darkness, but now are ye light in the world in the Lord. Walk as children of light. Wouldn't that be awesome if if if, if the majority even of those people that claim to be Christians walked in the light and lived holy? Wouldn't that be wonderful? Okay. Uh, uh, he goes on and says uh, uh, in verse 11, Have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Now that's when you're going to get persecuted for righteousness sake, like Jesus said. He said, They hated me before they hated you. You'll be hated by all men for my name's sake. Okay. Uh, the scripture says, for all that live godly shall be persecuted, okay, so, uh, for, for, for Christ, okay. And he says here, uh, uh, be you not therefore partakers with them. And he goes on and says, verse 11, have no fellowship with the unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. That's true love, ladies and gentlemen. If, 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 if you believe the words of Christ, that hell is a terrible place where there's weeping and gnashing of teeth, and the fires never quench, and the worm dieth not, and, and, and the way to heaven is a narrow and straight way, and, and, and the way uh, the way to hell is broad. Okay, and sin will get you there. Okay, uh, and, and, then then uh, and if you really believe that, you will reprove the people that you know in your life in a loving way, and warn them. Do you want to go to hell? According to God's word, this is the way I like to put it. Okay. Instead of telling them you're going to hell, I like to say, you know, they take it in that is a more personal way. The Lord gives you wisdom in how to speak. I always say, according to God's word, you're going to hell. Okay. Uh, it says, have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. For it is a shame even to speak of those things which are done of them in secret. Listen carefully. But all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. Okay? Which, if, if you obey in the Lord and reproving, you are the light. You're walking in the light. Okay? Uh, but all things that are reproved are made manifest by the light. For whatsoever doth make manifest is light. Wherefore he saith, Awake thou that sleepeth and arise from the dead, and Christ shall give thee light. Okay? All right. So, so, so uh, again, Paul says there, uh, let no man deceive you with vain words, and talks about all of these sins of the flesh, and and have no fellowship with these people, but rather reprove them. Okay. Uh, so then we're going to go to uh, 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 Colossians chapter uh, three. Go to Colossians chapter three. Okay. Uh, Paul says, if you then be risen with, start with verse 1, if you then be risen with Christ, seek those things which are above, where Christ sitteth on the right hand of God. Set your affection on things above, and like Paul said earlier in the, in the other uh, book, set your mind on the things of Christ. Here he says, set your, uh, be renewed in the spirit of your mind, he said. Set your affection on things above, not on things on the earth. For you are dead. Paul says, for you are dead. And your life is hid with Christ in God. Oh, they say, well, you know, Paul, he's crazy, man. He's saying, you're dead? When when you surrender, if you're a true born-again Christian, the old man is dead. When you surrender your life to Christ, uh, you have died. You're now letting Christ live in you. Okay, That's what you're supposed to do. If you're truly born again and you're a true Christian, okay, the word Christian actually means to be Christ-like. Okay, how many Christians do you know that are Christ-like, living holy? Okay, uh, uh, the word says, "Without holiness, no one shall see the Lord." Okay, all right. 
uh, it goes on, okay? So, uh, so Paul goes on and says, uh, uh, For you are dead, and your life is hidden with Christ in God. When Christ, who is our life, shall appear, then shall you also appear with him in glory. So look, look, listen to verse 5. Mortify, therefore, your members which are upon the earth. Here again, he mentions fornication, uncleanness, inordinate affection, evil compuses, and covetousness, which is idolatry. Listen now, here he says this again uh, uh, to, to, to uh, Coloss. For which things sake the wrath of God comes on the children of disobedience. Oh, no, man, them false preachers will say uh, it's only by faith that you save. You're a Christian, okay? If you if you commit sin, okay, uh, you just, you'll still go to heaven. You just won't, won't be rewarded uh, uh, as much. I've heard these words, ladies and gentlemen, okay? Uh, if you watch a lot of my other videos, you hear where I went to, went to the funeral service of, 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 of a good friend that I grew up with that died from breast cancer, and, the, and that preacher stands up there and says, Tracy's in heaven right now. I'm quoting this preacher. And she didn't get there by obeying the commandments. She got there by believing in Jesus. <laughs> I am telling you that is that is an absolute lie, according to God's holy word. Okay, She has to, according to God's word, she's got to believe in Jesus and keep the commandments. Okay? As God word, God's word says, he that says that he knows God and keeps not his commandments is a liar and the truth is not in him. God's word says, for this is the love of God that you keep his commandments. Jesus said, John chapter 14, uh, uh, if you love me, you will keep my words. And, and, and Words, plural. Okay, that's what he said. And, and, and then oftentimes he says, you'll keep my sayings. Okay. Why call you me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? You are my friends if you keep my commandments. And I could go on and on with that. Okay. Uh, he that committed sin is of the devil. Okay. He that is born of God, the Bible says, does not commit sin because he guards himself. Like, like a police officer or security guard guarding a building. Okay. Uh, if, if, you, if you and I are truly giving our life to Christ, we are now on guard. We on guard against what? Sin. Okay. As I have on this RV that I'm sitting in right now, and I have banners, says to love God is to hate sin. Okay. Uh, that's what the word says. For this is the love of God that you keep his commandments. Okay. Uh, so uh, to love sin is to hate God. Literally. Okay. In the book of Psalms, it says, God hateth all workers of iniquity. Okay? That is in your Bible. Look it up. Okay? But anyway, Paul goes on and says, uh, uh, Mortify therefore your members which are upon the earth, fornication, uncleanness, and order and affection, evil concupiscence, and covetousness, which is idolatry. For which things sake the wrath of God comes on the children of disobedience. Listen now, here again he says, In thee which you also walked, Sometime when you lived in them. Talking about the way they used to live. They used to live. These are true Christians. Okay. These aren't hypocrites. Okay. This, this is all about, uh, why are there so many hypocrites? Because they've been deceived. And I'm sharing these scriptures with you to show how, 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 how I was once deceived and the majority of people that claim to be Christians have been deceived. Thus, most of them are hypocrites, okay? Uh, it's, it, Paul goes on and says, But now you also put off all these, anger, wrath, malice, blasphemy, filthy communication. He says that all the time, too. Out of your mouths. Lie not one to another. Uh, seeing you have put off the old man with his deeds, and have put on the new man, who is renewed in knowledge after the image of him that created him. Okay? Yep. Uh, that's, that's God's word. Now we've got a few more scriptures I'd like to read to you. Okay. Uh, uh, it has to do with why there are so many hypocrites because they've been deceived. Paul's trying to, if, ladies and gentlemen, that's why we got to study the word. Okay. That's why you can't go to a church. Okay. And just believe everything that preacher tells you. Okay. If that preacher has been deceived, he's deceiving me and you. 
Okay, like I was once deceived. Like the majority of, quote, Christians are hypocrites because they've been deceived. I've had them quote scripture to me out of context like the false preacher does. Oh, you're righteous like filthy rag. Oh, you believe there's works involved in the in the heaven? Well, according to the Bible, there is. According to the Bible, what, let every man work out his own salvation with fear and trembling. Philippians 2.12. Jesus said, strive to enter into the narrow and straight gate that leads unto the kingdom of heaven. And it sounds like something you got to do to work out your salvation, to strive to enter in. Jesus said, uh, he to, uh, uh, that we must repent or perish. So it sounds like we got to repent. He said, if you don't forgive others, he won't forgive you. So it sounds like we got to forgive others. He says, uh, 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 if you love him, you will keep his commandments. Okay. So it sounds like we got to keep his commandments. Okay. You are my friends. If you keep my commandments, uh, uh, if you abide in me and my words abide in you, ask what you will. Uh, 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 Jesus said, why call you me Lord, Lord, and do not the things which I say? Jesus said, many will come up to me on that day and say, Lord, we prophesied in your name, healed the sick in your name, done many wonderful works in your name. He said, I'll tell them, depart from me, you workers of iniquity. I never knew you. Do you want the Lord to say to you, I never knew you because of you were, you, you, you never truly repented or you may have even truly repented and you fell back into sin like a dog returning to his own vomit? The Bible talks about, okay. Uh, 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 I don't think anybody wants to stand before God and and, and he said, "Depart from me," and, and you end up in hell. I really don't believe anybody wants that, okay. All right. So, uh, so we're going to look at uh uh First uh, uh, John chapter two. Uh, uh, first, I want to uh, while I'm here before we get there, I want to read to James what James talks about faith, okay. Uh. Uh, you, you know, we, we, we hear, we hear, oh, well, there's no works involved in salvation. Total lie, ladies and gentlemen. Total, total lie. Okay. Like I just gave you a bunch of scriptures of things we have to do. Okay. Uh, uh, so, uh, in James, he says, first I want to read this. Wherefore, lay apart all filthiness and superfluity of naughtiness, and receive with meekness the engrafted word which is able to save your soul. Talking about the word of God. The word. Be ye doers of the word and not hearers only. Listen to James. Be ye doers of the word, not hearers only, deceiving your own self. There's that word deceive again. Okay. For if any be a hearer of the word and not a doer, he's like unto a man beholding his natural face in a glass. He, he, for he beholdeth himself and goeth his way and, and right away forgets what manner of man he was. Okay. Uh, uh, so, so again, we got to do. We can't be deceived. Okay. So, so, all right. So, so we go on and let's, let's look at, uh, uh, what James says about faith. James says, even so, faith, if it has not works, is dead being alone. That's James 2.17. I mean, that literally says, faith being alone is dead. It's totally worthless. But, oh, no, we've been brainwashed by the false preachers. We've been deceived. That's only by faith. Okay? Totally opposite what God's holy word says. Paul goes on and says, Thou believest there is one God, thou doest well. The devils also believe and tremble. Will thou, but will thou know, O vain man, that faith without works is dead? That's verse 20. Now, now listen, let's, let's, he makes a good point trying to explain it. Was not Abraham our father justified by works when he offered Isaac his son upon the altar? And God, God asked Abraham to, to offer his son Isaac his only son, uh, uh, on the altar to sacrifice his son, okay? And Abraham uh, believed God, okay, to the point that he obeyed God, okay? He literally, literally offered his son up, okay? 
So he goes on and says, See us, uh, was not Abraham our father justified by works when he, when he had offered Isaac his son upon the altar? See us now how faith worked with his works, and by works was faith made perfect, and the scripture was fulfilled, which says Abraham believed God, and it was imputed unto him for righteousness. Okay, and he was called the friend of God. You see, then, verse twenty-four. You see then how that by works a man is justified and not by faith only. Okay. So there you go. Okay. He, 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 he acted upon his belief. Okay. Uh, so you can believe in God. Okay. And we got all these believers. Man, that's easy to do. Okay. When I walk down that aisle in, 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 in Assembly of God Church as a 15 year old young man and the preacher says, uh, if you died right now, you're not sure you'd go to heaven. You need to come up here and get right with God. Well, I wasn't sure. Okay. And I went up there. The only person that went up is, is several dozen people in this little country church in Greenville, Kentucky. Okay. Assembly of God Church, which, which is, which, which preaches a little more truth than the Baptist, but they got that poison too. Okay. There's that deception there. So I went forward and the preacher Basically did the same thing as most all of them do. Well, ask the Lord to come into your heart, confess your sins, uh, uh, believe that Jesus Christ is the Son of God, raised from the dead, and you shall be saved. Unrightly dividing the Word of God. Those are all scriptures. Okay, uh, Whosoever call upon the name of the Lord shall be saved. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you can call on the Lord all you want to if you're not willing to obey and surrender your life to Him and live holy. You're spitting in the wind, okay? And God knows it, like like Jesus said, uh, uh, not everyone that says unto me, Lord, Lord, shall enter into the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father, which is in heaven. There we go. You got to do something. You got to do the will of God. You got to obey God, okay? Uh, so, so, uh, so, 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 I'm giving you God's word. So 1 John uh, 2.26. I'm going to share that with you. This is powerful stuff here. This is for the word of God is quick and powerful. Sharper than any two-edged sword. That's what it says. Sharper than any two-edged sword. Piercing. Oh, no, man. I'd rather just go to church and let that preacher tickle my ears and pluck scripture out of context. Okay? And, 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 and deceive me. And, and 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 be a hypocrite would you rather would you rather be that and do that and then jesus say depart from me and 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 says a hypocrite shall receive greater damnation okay all right but that's what's going on that's what that's what's happening in in in, in, in the christian world in america been going on for years okay all right the deception Okay, we reading we reading things that, that this written, uh, uh, basically two thousand years ago, ladies and gentlemen. Think about that. If you, okay, th this was written way back then. Okay, but and to apply fr from then on. Okay, and 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 you look at, don't you understand that deception that has grown and grown and grown and increased from the time uh, Paul and Peter and John said these words. 2,000 years ago, basically, and, 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 and the deception has gotten worse and worse? Of course it has, okay? Uh, uh, and, and need to understand that. Uh, just because the majority of preachers are preaching all this poison, it doesn't mean it's right, okay? Uh, so, uh, 1 John 2.26 Paul says, these things have I written unto you concerning them that seduce you. Talking about the false preachers. Seduce you. Okay. Like the harlot church my wife goes to. Okay. I, 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 when the Lord laid on my heart to go uh, there uh, and, and, and try to get her to go up for prayer, which she refused to do, believe it or not, in a church, man. Okay. Okay. Uh, and, and and then the Lord laid it on my heart to go sit by her, and she got up and walked out. This, uh, and then she sits in this harlot church, okay, uh, 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 
and feels comfortable leaving a God-fearing man because he causes too much uh, division and chaos in her, her life, warning her sons or and our, my sons, to repent. Can you believe that? Can you believe a person could sit in a church, this is a Church of God brand, yeah, and feel comfortable walking away from a God-fearing man? Something's seriously wrong here. So the reason I call it a harlot church, ladies and gentlemen, the great whore, Babylon, your Bible says, come out of her, my people. Okay, Babylon, the great whore. That's the harlot church. What does a whore do? A whore messes around. Okay, A whore, in the fleshly sense, uh, 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 commits, has sex with multiple people. Okay. The harlot church, okay, uh, uh, which uh, some is more harlot than others, okay, understand that, okay, but but still the overwhelming majority of them, at least 95% of them are, are, are harlot churches, okay, uh, uh, and making these hypocrites, yet Jesus said a good tree can't bring forth bad fruit, okay, bad fruit is a hypocrite, somebody that uh, uh, is not being obedient. It's not walking in the light as he is in the light. Okay. Uh, and, uh, thus turning people away from God. Okay. That's, that's why the scripture says in Hebrews 10, 26 through 31, for if we sin willfully after we've received the knowledge of the truth, there remains no more sacrifice for sins. That means you can't be forgiven if there remains no more sacrifice for sins. Okay. For if we sin willfully after we receive the knowledge of the truth, meaning we know it's sin, okay, there remains no more sacrifice for sin. Seeing we crucified the Son of God afresh, put him to an open chain, counted the blood of the covenant whereby we was sanctified, an unholy thing, and insulted the Spirit of grace. Insulted the Spirit of grace. Okay. The Bible says you can insult the Spirit of grace. And you can you can also uh, defile the spirit of grace. Okay, so so uh, so he says uh, these things I've written to you concerning them that seduce you. A lot of seducers out there. A lot of seducers. The harlot church. Here's another example of the harlot church. What does a whore do? Okay, well, we got Christmas, we got Easter, we got Valentine's Day, we got we 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 got all these pagan. Proven, historically proven pagan holidays, okay? The origins are very pagan, okay? And most all of it uh, 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 goes back to when the majority of people on this earth that you live on worship the sun. The, as, as you read and study the scriptures, God says uh, they worship the host of heaven, okay? All right? Uh, there's, there's many things to learn, ladies and gentlemen, okay? But you got to turn the television off you got to turn the computer off and, and 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 the phone off, okay? And study the word and read things, okay? Uh, now there are some good YouTube videos uh, and stuff out there about uh, the origins of Christmas and Easter, okay? So, uh, so but a harlot church is going to celebrate Christmas and Easter. Okay, I'm just telling you the truth. There was one time not long ago in my life I was willing to compromise and go to a church, okay? That preach more about holiness, okay, but still, still hoarded, whoredom, committed whoredom with the harlot, okay, and 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 celebrated Christmas and Easter, okay. But now, since my wife has left me, the Lord has convicted me and told me to do not compromise with that anymore. Do not comp. See, see, see. Uh, uh, uh. So I don't. I'm not compromising with that anymore. I'm not compromising with a church that wants to flirt with the whore. Some wants to flirt more with the whore than others. Okay, that, believe me. Okay, but but Christmas, the winter solstice, December the 25th is winter solstice. Just about every year, within a day or two, you look it up on your calendar. It'll, it, it, some calendars will even say winter solstice. Okay, so they take. Which nowhere in Scripture does it tell tell us when Jesus was born for a reason. Nowhere does it tell us to celebrate a birthday. Okay, uh, but but they'll take December the twenty fifth, 
where the, where the sun worshipers came together and worshipped the sun. They had a big festivity, uh, a big celebration uh, around December the 25th, winter solstice, to worship the sun because it was the shortest daylight day of the year. And then the sun was going to start coming back closer to them. Okay. So, so, so they said, well, let's, 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 let's draw all the sun worshipers in. Okay. This is Catholicism. Okay. Uh, uh, this is where it uh, originated from and really before that. This is even in the scriptures here. Okay. But, but this is where all your Protestant churches get it from. Okay. So, so let's let 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 let's celebrate Christ's birth on 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 the on winter solstice, the day they worship the sun, okay, and draw the sun worshippers in. That's seducing, ladies and gentlemen. Paul, is, that's when Paul is talks about the deceivers and the seducers, okay, and 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 and, uh, and, and deception, okay. Uh, man, when I learned when I learned the truth about Christmas, I didn't have a Christmas tree in my house again, okay. Uh, 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 when I learned the truth about Easter, okay, Easter, bunny rabbits don't lay eggs. Easter is the, the goddess of fertility. If you look up the word Easter, uh, uh, and the word E-O-S-T-E-R, E-O-S-T-E-R-E, E-O-S-T-E-R is the goddess of fertility, okay? Ishtar, I-S-H-T-A-R, another name for the goddess of fertility, okay? Uh, and so they're going to mix Christ in with that and, and put him in instead of celebrating Passover like God said to do. Okay. They're going to mix. They're going to change, change it from celebrating Passover on God's appointed days and, and celebrations. And they, they're going to flirt with the whore. Okay. Uh, that's why I call it Harlot Church, Babylon. The Bible speaks of, 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 of what I'm saying scriptural. Okay. Uh, and uh and, and uh, uh celebrate uh Passover uh with the goddess of fertility and uh Easter Ishtar, okay, uh etc. Okay. So so uh uh don't go to a church that flirts with the whore, okay, okay, a harlot church, okay. God will hold you accountable. Okay. All right. So now let's look at um uh Paul says, uh, I wrote these things to you concerning them that seduce you. Okay. Oh, it's only by faith, man. That's why we got so many hypocrites. Remember the title of the video, Why So Many Hypocrites? Okay. Second Thessalonians chapter 2, verses. Oh, Lord. My phone fell, y'all. Okay. Satan don't want this video to be made. Okay. He don't want you to understand why there's so many hypocrites. I'm trying to teach you some good truth. Okay. Uh, so 2 Thessalonians chapter 2. Oh, hold on a minute. Got to be kind of calm here so my phone don't fall over. I had this marked. Let's see, verses 7 through 12. Okay, Paul says, 2 Thessalonians, 2 Thessalonians chapter 2, verse 7, For the mystery of iniquity does already work. And this Paul is writing this way back then. The mystery of iniquity. Okay, think about that. The mystery. Why, why so much iniquity in, in, in so-called Christians? Okay, okay. They've been deceived. Okay, Paul, but Paul says, for the mystery of iniquity does already work. Only he who now letteth will let until he be taken out of the way. And then shall that wicked one reveal whom the Lord shall consume. Talking about the Antichrist. Uh, and he says, Satan will work, uh, do powerful signs and lying wonders and deceive many. Okay. All right. So then I want to, I want to close with scripture here on, on this subject of being deceived. Now we go to go to Second Timothy, chapter three. Uh, I don't have enough lights on in here, but anyway, Second uh, Timothy, chapter three. 
Paul says, this know also, start with verse 1. This know also that in the last days, perilous times shall come. People shall be lovers of their own self. You know, I don't like to mention this, but I have to use it. It's a good example to share with you a truth. Okay. Uh, what, What is a lover of your own self? Okay. Well, my wife of 41 and a half years says that she's going to leave me if she has to live alone the rest of her life, to have calm in her life, then she'll live alone the rest of her life. That's that's loving yourself more than God. Okay. And, uh, and, 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 and Jesus said in Luke chapter 14, okay, look it up, very powerful. Jesus said, if, 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 if you, you or I love father, mother, brother, sister, son or daughter, husband or wife, we could say boyfriend, girlfriend, sports, booze, drugs, money, anything more than him is not worthy of him. That's what Jesus said. Is not worthy to be my disciple. So, so, so that destroys the false preachers right there. He says, if you love anyone or anything more than me, he says. So, so they don't just believe, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus is saying they love him. But he says, if you don't love me more than father, mother, brother, sister, son or daughter, granddaughter, grandchild, uh, uh, your dog, your pets. Uh, uh, I mean, I could put those in there. OK, I've added a few. Rightfully so, because I know the Lord that, that is prophetic. OK, the Lord would allow me to do so because he's saying, if you love anyone or anything more than him. Okay, the greatest commandment, the Lord said, love the Lord thy God with all your heart and all your mind, strength, and body. Okay, uh, But he said, if you don't love me more than these things, you're not even worthy to be my disciple. That's what he said. That's what he said. Not even worthy. There's a lot of people that think they're following Jesus, and Jesus ain't anywhere around. He ain't, they're not following the real, true Jesus. They're not following the holy Jesus. They're not following the Jesus that said, narrow and straight is the way, and few there be that find it. They're not following the Jesus that says, he that endures to the end, the same shall be saved. No man having put his hand to the plow and looking back is fit for the kingdom of God. Okay? These are things Jesus said. Okay? Uh, so, so, so we go on. This know that in the last days, perilous times shall come, for people shall be lovers of their own selves covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers, disobedient to parrots, unloving, I mean unthankful, unholy, okay? Talk about all these hypocrites. Without natural affection, truce breakers, false accusers, okay? Falsely accusing people, okay? Like my wife has accused me of one of her uh, uh, divorce things I read on the paper as uh, uh, mental abuse. Did you know my wife never accused me or said to me personally, you're mentally abusing me? But all of a sudden, that's that's an excuse to divorce me? Well, God's word showed me that when I started sharing the word of God with her more than ever, after she, after she uh, walked away from me, okay, God showed me that was like mental abuse to her. Okay, For the word of God's quick and powerful, sharper than any two-edged sword, piercing it says, even to the dividing asunder of the soul and spirit, and the joints of the marrow, and the thoughts and intents of the heart. Okay, yeah, that's sad. When 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 the word of God, uh, you want to call it mental abuse. Okay, that's what that's why Jezebel hated God's prophets. Okay, Jezebel dined with the false prophets, the harlots, the whores. Okay, the heart, the, meaning spiritually speaking, in this case. Okay. So Paul says uh, 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 they'll be despised of those that are good, traitors, heavy, heady, high-minded. And listen to this. Lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Now, how many people do you know that love pleasures more than they love God? How, so how do you know they love pleasures more than they love God? Well, here's a, here's a good way to know. Man, do they talk about their pleasures all the time? Are they all? Are they spending so much time? Oh, oh, we go into this uh, music concert. We go into this apple festival and this pumpkin festival, and we go into this. Uh, 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 we go into the Grand Canyon, and we go into 
uh, Niagara Falls and we're going all over the places in the world, these beautiful things and places. God, lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. That's a lot of people. Okay. But anyway, so let's get to the, to, to, to the, to the real nitty gritty here, which is, which is all powerful stuff. Okay. All right. But verse, verses, uh, seven through 12. Paul, we'll, we'll just get a, start with verse 12. <clears throat> Paul says, yea, and all, and all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. That's what he said. Okay. Are you suffering persecution for living godly, living holy? I, I, I'm here to tell you, if you're not, examine yourself. Seriously, all, all joking aside. Are you going along to get along? Okay. Like my wife going along with my children's uh, uh, carnal, worldly lifestyle? Okay, to be light? Oh, yeah, every now and then mentioning, you know, you shouldn't do that. The Lord don't want you to do that. But but no emphasis. Okay, because you put too much emphasis on it, you're going to get persecuted. Okay. But you better. If you, get, if you truly love them and care about their soul, you better. And you you better do it to obey God. Okay. All right. So Paul says, uh, yeah, and all that live, will, will live godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. In verse 13, listen, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Now, there you go. That was written over 2,000 years ago, basically. Evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived. Thus we have many hypocrites. Now I'll give you a basic summary of why we have so many hypocrites. The key reason is uh, it's only by faith. Just pray this prayer. Uh, accept Jesus as Lord and Savior. Unrightly dividing the word like Call on the Lord and you say, John 3.16, you'll see it all over the place. Making you believe, if you believe in Jesus, you saved. Okay? Okay? D does that not concern you that you hear all of these scriptures, uh, but you don't hear the, the ones that connect and make it the whole truth? Like, if you love me, you'll keep my, my words. Why do you call me Lord, Lord? And, and do not the things that you say, not everyone that says it to me, Lord, Lord, shall inherit the kingdom of heaven, but he that does the will of my Father which is in heaven. You're my friends if you keep my commandments. huh? He that loves father, mother, brother, sister, son, or daughter more than me is not worthy to be my disciple. Except you deny yourself, uh, you, you can no way follow me, take up your cross daily. We don't, we don't hear those things because, because, uh, it, it don't draw a crowd. Okay, it draws few people. Mm -hmm. Like the few shall inherit the kingdom of heaven. Many be called and few are chosen. Do you want to be deceived and be a hypocrite? If you're not a hypocrite, don't you want to share this message with uh, with those that that you really believe are hypocrites, or, or even know in most cases? that say they're Christians and they fornicating or committing adultery or divorcing their husband or wife for any reason other than adultery, okay? And 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 lying and cursing and stealing and getting high and drunk and being hateful and not loving uh, the second greatest commandment, love others as you would love yourself, doing to others you'd have them doing to you. Okay? Uh and jealous jealousies and all of these sins stealing lying paul talks about them okay those who do such things will not inherit the kingdom of god a hypocrite shall receive greater damnation so i'll close this video out y'all i hope i hope you now understand why there's so many hypocrites okay and i pray that you aren't one and if you are get on your knees and say lord i've been deceived I was once a hypocrite, ladies and gentlemen, as a young man. I'm, I'm not too proud to admit that. I was deceived. But I got into this book right here called the Holy Bible.
Okay. And I got into it and I found out, man, there's a lot of things I wasn't told. I was deceived by preachers unrightly dividing the word of God. Yep. And that reminds me, I believe the Lord wants me to share, share this scripture with you, which I did. I, I, I put this in one of my other videos. Okay. If I can remember I, where, exactly where it is. Okay. I think it's in uh, Peter. Yeah. Second Peter. Peter says this. Hold on a minute. Peter says, this is 2 Peter chapter 3. Wherefore, beloved, seeing that you look for such things, be diligent that you may be found of him in peace. Listen, without spot, sin. And blameless. Okay. And account that the long suffering of our Lord is salvation. Listen, even as our beloved brother Paul, talking about the Apostle Paul, also according to the wisdom given to, unto him, has written unto you. Okay, talking about the, the letters that Paul wrote. Okay. All these different books and most of the New Testament was written by Paul. Okay. But listen to what Peter said. As also in all his epistles, speaking in them of these things, and which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned, that's most Christians, so-called Christians, okay, that's most believers, okay, which... He says, in which are some things hard to be understood, which they that are unlearned and unstable twist, okay, as they do also the other scriptures unto their own destruction. Yep. So they'll take Paul's writings where Paul says, uh, that which I want to do, I don't do, uh, and that which I, uh, uh, that he says, I, that which I want to do, I don't do. That which I don't want to do, I do. So Paul was explaining to us when he lived under the flesh, when, before he crucified the flesh, before before he had that encounter with God on the road to Damascus and went and got prayed for and, and filled with the Holy Spirit. Okay, Paul was a very religious man. That's why God called him. He thought he was doing God a favor by killing Christians. He didn't. God saw that zeal and love that he had for him is why he 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 did what he did to Paul, okay, uh, and called him and uh, chose him as an apostle, okay. Uh, but 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 Paul is saying that which I want to do I don't do. That was when he lived in the flesh before he goes on and says explains it to be carnally minded is death to be spiritually minded is eternal life and peace. For those that live after the flesh cannot please God, Paul said. Okay, So Paul would be the greatest hypocrite in the world if you believe like these false Christians and preachers make you think that Paul even sinned. Okay, And they use those kind of scriptures to, to show it. And I've heard these, these quote deceived Christians tell me, well, Paul said this. I said, yes, ma'am. Yes, sir. Paul said that. And then he, I said, keep on reading. Keep on reading. He says, so I therefore serve the law of God with my mind. Okay. So it, 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 so he goes on and talks about to be spiritually minded is eternal life and peace. Okay. Uh, Paul goes on and says, uh, 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 I, I speak these things to you that you may not sin. Okay. Paul says, uh, 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 shall we continue in uh, sin that grace may abound? God forbid. Uh, so, so I read all these things to you where Paul said, do not be deceived, neither fornicators, idolaters, adulterers, etc. will not inherit the kingdom of God. And all those things Paul said. Okay, But anyway, people, because of their ignorance and listening to the false preachers, okay, like Peter says here, they twist his words unto their own destruction. 
seen it and heard it many times, and I'm sure it'll continue, okay? Because Satan wants to deceive people. So that's why we have so many hypocrites. That that is that is why most people that claim to be Christians do not live holy, okay? And that's why most people uh, uh, that claim to be Christians uh, are, are not respected, okay? Uh, it, that makes my job hard when I go out street preaching or or, 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 or sharing the Lord. It's, it, it makes my job a lot harder. They just assume I'm just another one of those hypocrites, yeah. And that, that's unfortunate, okay. But uh, but but I understand, okay. And uh, but uh, I do have a lot of people who listen to me because the message that God's given me to share, they understand, okay. When I ask people, as the Lord leads me, I ask I ask people all the time, how many people do you know that claim to be Christians don't live like it? I say that sometimes, or or sometimes I'll say live holy. They'll say. Most all of them, or sometimes, a lot of times, they'll say all of them. Okay, and that 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 gets their attention. Okay, to listen to me, uh, many many times. And uh, so I love y'all. Uh, uh, don't be a hypocrite, because I don't think you want to receive greater damnation. Okay, because Jesus don't like hypocrites. Okay, because He's going to give them greater damnation than the outright sinner. That's 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 righteousness. Okay? They give our a hypocrite gives 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 my savior a bad name. Bad name. Bad name. It's sad. Okay. I hope you'll share this video and, and I hope you appreciate me sharing the truth with you. Okay. Uh, I catch a lot of persecution and reproach for speaking the truth. I've currently lost for the most part, my entire family, for speaking the truth and reproving, and, 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 and it's like the word says, reprove them. Have no fellowship with unfruitful works of darkness, but rather reprove them. Okay, uh, And, uh, and uh, you'll be persecuted for righteousness' sake. Yeah. But it's worth the price, ladies and gentlemen, if we want to inherit the kingdom of heaven and we don't want to go to hell and lose our soul. Okay? I'm just telling you, it's worth the price. It's like Jesus said, the, the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field where a man goes and sells everything he has that he may purchase that field. Because he knows uh, 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 that pearl of great price, or that treasure, that the, that heaven is in that field. Okay, I know it's there. So I'm going to sell everything I got to buy that field. Okay, And yep, so anyway... Uh, take it really, really serious. We live in some crazy times right now. Okay, we we live in the times like the Bible says when they they'll call that which is good evil and evil good, and so many are deceived. Okay, getting divorced, left and right, remarrying, fornication, adultery, bearing false witness, lying, drunkenness. Legal, legal prescription drug addicts, so many of them, so many people uh, on antidepressants because of they're so far from God. So far from God, not in tune with God. And, uh, uh, but I love you. Obey the Lord, walk in the spirit. The word says, draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. Take care.